Okay, so welcome to the My Video Factory members area. This is just the first overview video just to welcome you aboard and let you know that moving forward you're going to be able to manage all your video presentations from one main dashboard. We're going to be adding in a lot of transitions, templates, graphics, um, animations, video backgrounds, etc. over the coming months. Because we really want to plan on making this your only place you ever need to go if you want to create video. Okay, so let's get started. To add a presentation, just click on Add New Presentation. You want to enter in your title. So if I'm going to just put it whatever you want. And then your description. The title should have your keyword in it, as in future this is going to be used to automatically submit your video to the video sites. The same with your description. And you can also include a HTTP, mypromotional.com, whatever URL you want to promote, and then your keywords that you want to add. So I'll just use this as an example, and then click Submit. OK, next, you want to add a new template. So click on Add Template. You'll see here these are the slides we currently have available. And there's quite a few more coming. So I'll just click on a few of these. And I will show you exactly how to use them. OK, so we'll start out with this. If I want to change the order, I just simply can left click and hold and drag it across. So you can adjust the order by dragging and dropping the slides. So we'll just start off with this. So first of all, click it on the bottom and then move your mouse up and click it on the top. If you want to change text, click on the text you want to change. You'll see here, hi, I'm Bob, and this is, comes into here. And I'll click on my story. If you want to change colors, very easy, or fonts, you can just select from some of our fonts and then the colors that you want to change to. I've got every color available. When you select it, left click and OK. And the same for this, I can change it again. If I want to change it, I can make it any color I want. Generally, I wait until I add my background. So I want to change this image. How do I do that? Just left click on it and it'll pop up your image library. Now you can upload as many images as you want and we'll store them. Or you can select from some of our ready made ones. So I will just go and select one, just left click. And you'll see it appears in. Exact same thing for background images, just left click. And then you can scroll through all the different styles we have available here. So I will just try and find one which I want. There's so many to choose from, but it's very easy uh, to swap them about. Let's see what purple looks like. Okay, so I like the purple. I could maybe make the text white. Nope, that's not gonna work. Maybe a different kind of red. Something brighter, I would say. Or maybe we'll go for a different shade of blue. So as you can see here, if I want, I can simply just increase the font. So it's currently set at 25, so I'll maybe move this to shardy. Got to include the word my. Okay, so then I just click save. So I'm happy with that. But here's where it gets cool. You can click on add variant. And then I can then add another variant of this slide. You 
to improve my English. And these are my best weight loss tips. So I'll maybe try a different image. Add in a background again. Try to save that. Just need a click in here. I'll add in a background image again. I'll try a different one. I'll try this. I'll change font colors again. And then I'll just click on save. So I can add as many variants as I want of this one slide. So we'll just go on to the next slide. Again, just left click on the text. I can create the font size if I want. You can change. Put it in italics underline and then we'll add a background image so let's select this one see how it looks nope I don't like that one that could work that's not bad maybe go to a different style yeah like that click and save Then I can add a variant. Add a background image. Change the text color. Click and save. And it text, just click on the text to add it. It's very just point and click. And if I want, I can change my font. Just click and save. Okay, so rather than me waste your time going all through this, as I know you'd want to get started, I'll just go and select one more. I'll add in three variants. So you click on what you get. If you scroll right, you'll see it appears here. Click on the next line, you'll see it appears here. Click on the next line, click on the next, next line. All you need to do is click on the text to edit it. And then make sure, as I just done there, very easy to do, make sure you always click save. And the next one, I'll do do this and I'll click on the text I can make it make it white and I'll just click and save and I'll leave that as um, the original so if you want to add background music, you can select, you can upload any track you want, or you can select from some of ours that we have available. So you just click on the category. Sometimes it just takes a wee minute to load because there are a lot um, in there. And then you can preview. You can just select that audio if you want. Le left clicking on select audio. Or, what you can do, if you wish, is you can record your own audio. Now, to do this, you need to have Chrome or f the Firefox browser. The record audio function only works in Chrome or Firefox. If you don't have it, then you can just record an audio any other way and upload it um, as a background music track. So if you click on Record Audio, when the pop-up appears, click on Allow. and you'll be able to record the audio track to your slides. Next, if you want to spin, just click on Spin Off. 
I'm not going to load the spinner. And you'll see now that the spin off loads. So how do you work this? Well, you simply just drag the versions that you want to use into the spin off. So you can change it any way you want. I can't drag this one in because this is the original. But I could drag this one in. And then if I want to replace it again, I can drag the original back. So that's how you can create unlimited versions of your video. If you want to change the order, then you just simply click on save and create video and enter it in the name and create video. Now videos generally take two, three minutes to create. So what you can do if you want, rather than sitting looking at this loading screen, you can go back and then add another presentation while you wait. You just need to open it in a new tab. So open a new tab in your browser, you can see here. So you can keep going uh, with creating your videos. So these are the end of the tutorials and if you need any help or assistance, uh, don't be afraid to ask.